Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the uh, courthouse building in Tagbalaran, the building to the right side of the Capitol. And this is the uh, this is the hall of what I call the Hall of Records. And they have the uh, some of the typewriters from the different eras for, for many years. Look at these old computer uh, monitors. And they have um, many they have many things that I wanted to buy um, in regards to file cabinets, but they didn't have the auction that they were supposed to have. This was supposed to be an original auction. So look at these on. Uh, a universal 275 typewriter. Now I did see some select select uh, selectomatic typewriters, but this is what I call the Hall of Records. And I will show that to you why. Because in these boxes are the records. My in my in my in In this is a this is a typical trial. I cannot show you. Do you have the benches? Buntag. This is a courtroom in the yeah. Salamat. This is a typical courtroom. Okay. And then um, now this is what I call the Hall of Records, and I'll show you why. Inside these boxes are, are, are the records of all the trial cases and court cases. See, this is uh, this is one case right here. One ribbon, one case. One ribbon, one case. Um, and this is a different era of typewriters. And somehow or another, these are all froze up. I don't know why. And this is a different era of monitors. This is a this is a newer monitor with a plastic screen. So this is now when we update when we moved update to the new Hall of Records, they use a black ribbon. So they use a different color ribbon for each year. Very very sophisticated filing system. Blue ribbons are one year. Black ribbons are another year. Then I saw in one place there were red ribbons. Unless it just means it's a different division. So, yeah. So this is uh, this is the filing system, and they have these little numbers here, which represent the case. I find this amazing. And you know what the more amazing part is? Look at these are all. Let's see. This is a brown brown ribbon. This probably represents a different year. I find it amazing because the, the truth of the matter is somebody probably knows how to find any record from any date of any year. Now here is where they store the extra chairs. And this is why I came wanted to go to this auction. I wanted to buy the file cabinets, but the auction didn't happen. So this was supposed to be an auction uh, actually in August. Daisy and I had we had a scheduled date for the auction and we came to the auction and there was no auction. So we have this gentleman here. And then we have, now this is, this is the newer Hall of Records where they're using a green, a green band, but a more, a more secure type of band. And it has the name and like I said, somebody probably knows exactly where every one of these files. My in Buntag. Guapa. Guapo. Somebody probably knows where every one of these files are. But you can see how neat and, you know, sophisticated the, the entire system. Look, you see how they put the binding on one side and then the pages on the other binding on one side. See how... This is a, a perfectly, systematically filed set of, you know, for his, th I mean, paper, see, this is what people don't understand. They think I'm kidding. But 30 years ago, when I worked in big corporation, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, when I went into buildings, what my aunt was in charge of the uh, advertising for gray advertising, this is how they stored their files. There were... If there was no room in the file ca file room, they put them in the hallway or in a room like this. So this is just the modern-day version 
of what it was like living in America 50 to 100 years ago. This is, there's nothing wrong with this filing system. And I assure you, somebody knows where every one of these files are. So you could see, see, this is a newer file, double banded, because it's extra big. So this is Michael Fazer reporting to you from the uh, criminal court building. And ah, this is where the auction was supposed to take place. The auction didn't happen. And I had come here, and they had this place laid out different. Um, so, and there was metal, there were industrial grade metal cabinets, but it looks like now everything has turned. They had motorcycles for the auction, uh, they had tricycles for the auction, they had many, many motor vehicles, and this was going back uh, to last January, Daisy and I were here, and, uh, now the stuff has just been left out on the street, out in the weather, for a year and a half. So it's not going to happen. So what I will do is say goodbye, and um, I'll, I'll walk you through the front of the building. My my bun tag. This is the standard uniform. Okay, so. This is the Parole and Probation Administration Office. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye. So these files must be going out to another province or another district. These files are leaving to go be delivered or picked up? No? What are you doing with these files? Just re receiving uh, from another district. Okay, so I'm at Okay. Just, sir, sir, I will, I will bring you back your camera next week. Doha, yeah? Doha. Sure. One for you, one for you. Anybody else want a GoPro? Are you sure? Thank you. Thank you. I'm paying. See you next week. I will be back next week. I have work. Rocky's on the road. Uh, yeah, Rocky's out on a job. To yes. Doing trabajo on hand. Uh, I will come back maybe. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe Ugma. Uh, Salama. Uh, uh, amigo, you have a nice day. Uh, okay. Oops, sorry. Oh my God. So this this area was full of equipment too. That's what brought Daisy and I into the building for the auction itself. So I'll. I'm being. I'm gonna. Now this is Garcia, President Garcia Park, right there. So you walk out the Capitol building and you walk straight into President Garcia Park. And this was the thing that I really caught, caught my eye, right in front of the door where the guard sits. If you have a weapon, and I guess one round is stuck in the breach, you can discharge it here. That is way cool. And uh, uh, that is way cool. I just thought that was really interesting. Destroyed weapons here. <laughs> That's funny. See, even, even in the courthouse, you still have to watch your step. I try to make a point that it is very dangerous walking around in the Philippines. Look, see this sidewalk here? It's an eight inch drop off to the side. And here's a half of a rim. Half a rim, half a rim, and an eight inch drop. Very dangerous without, unless you're watching where you walk. My in hop on buntag. Um, very dangerous here. So we're gonna go into the, we're gonna show you what the capital building looks like. The province of the whole capital building. And then there's a staircase right at the at bottom of the Capitol building staircase down into President Garcia Park. Now I've been through here several times, but this video is going to end in less than three minutes. So I would imagine that's President Garcia over there. And this is the province of Bahal.
Okay, so let's get down into the park. I'm going to take the ramp because I'm carrying a lot of weight here today. I have about eight kilos of um, uh, products. Uh, you know what I should do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go. I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to go into the park. Amigo! Wait, one minute. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go do, get my gulai from ICM. Say goodbye. Amigo. Palio Pila to, to ICM. 15? ICM? Yeah, 10? No. I, I, I will not go to ICM. I am going to... Uh, okay. So I'm not, not going there. Okay. So he's not going to the ICM. So you should pay 15 pesos maximum to go to ICM. You can get it for 10 if they're headed back in that direction. But I'll, I don't argue with them for 15. But I ask them for 10. Sometimes they say yes and sometimes they say no. Okay, so it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And uh, that's how you get to the places that you got to go to. I'm being permy. I see him. No, this this comes. Salamat. Yeah, a lot of times they go in, in a different direction. They don't want to go to ICM because then they have to wait on a long line. I'll just say goodbye and I'll take a few pictures. Bye-bye. I'm being permy.